So that's kind of how Chase and I reconnected is, is I was in the nursing home after our hookup. Um, if you could call it that, um, yeah. where he blocked me and I added him on Facebook. Cause I was like, I knew I had a crush on him. I was like, I just maybe messed up like the best thing that could have ever happened to me. So this is when you're in the, a nursing oh, home. Because, yeah. I was in a nursing home because, because you're, because you're learning how to walk, talk, do everything. Full-time care. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Full-time so care. he like, after we reconnected after three years, you know, we lived in the sober house three years later, we reconnected and then he jumped off the bridge 18 days later. My God. But I had like blocked him on, like we had not talked since yeah. that. I had no idea that it happened. Like, yeah. Wow. And you reconnected. What did you say? Because. No, so I added him on Facebook and I was so fucking annoyed. Um, <laughs> He like waited a week to even like acknowledge or like acknowledge well, did you my know friend request. you're like his lifeline? He was like waiting for you. I, was. I had no idea. Yeah. You know, I was yeah, like, this, this is my last impression of him is using, right? Like I had. And you're clean at that point and you're like, yep. no, I'm not doing that again. I'm not going that way. Yep. You and chose so, your direction. Yeah. And again, I'm still not out at this point either. So yeah. so this is where it gets fun. So he accepts my friend request on August 2nd. Um, August 3rd <laughs> is my birthday. So he like I post like a Snapchat like in my little nursing home hospital bed <laughs> oh um, about goodness. like the fact that I'm 21. He's like, oh, you're only 21. I'm like, yeah. Um, Snapchat with the bonnet on. I don't know why. Yeah, absolutely. A bon- <laughs> oh, no, I made so many friends in the nursing home that like used to yeah yeah yeah. i bet you did um but uh, from there on out it was just like i we started talking and like i I feel like this is stupid to say because like maybe a lot of people can't relate but like i like fell in love with this kid just like over messaging like when i was in the nursing home like he was like he was not only like when i was sending that friend request up like he actually became my lifeline like there was like a buoy in the water and like that was him and i like he like allowed me to grab onto it which was super sweet um and uh he came to visit me once and brought me this little uh this hoodie that i still have um it was like (laughs) and he washed it with gain laundry detergent before he came which was (laughs) my favorite laundry detergent um you knew the smell right when you sniffed it i did um and then uh he came and picked me up a week later from the nursing home, uh, still in the closet, took the day off work. Um, and then like just over a week later, he told his, his parents about us. And Oh my God. Oh, and wow. it happened that fast. Yeah. You were like, I'm ready. Yeah. It was like the moment, right? Like my whole life coming out, is like my biggest fear. Mm-hmm. And then like, I don't, like he said, I don't know why, you know, what had happened that was like so different, but it was like, I immediately knew like, I want, I need to give this a try. And it was like the fear of like missing out on this opportunity, like not coming out all of a sudden became greater than like the fear of coming out for the first time in my whole life. Wow. Not coming out for him. Yeah. Oh, wow. And it was like, I can't miss out on, out on this opportunity for love. Yeah. And so that's like, well, I guess like got to do it. And you know, I told my parents, I told my roommates and and you're here and you're alive and you're okay and you yeah. are out and you're happy with someone you love. Yeah. And you feel good, right? Yes. Yeah. And you guys are both like on this new journey together. And I feel like your strength in your relationship too is knowing what each other have been through and to an extent, not nearly the same, but like in a way have dealt with an inner demon and grow together yeah. now in your new like refreshed lives and with your learnings. Yeah, like the consequences were different. Like, like he didn't he didn't jump off a bridge, but like the feelings are the same. Like, mm-hmm. we we had like similar experiences. We we felt those feelings before. So like on that sense, we can relate. Like the the end of it, like I was never on academic probation in college. I didn't go to college, but like yep. I know what it feels like to not follow through on responsibilities. And like it, that's what it all comes down to. Like the specifics don't matter. Yay.